Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with an exciting charm video. So as you know, I am an avid Pandora collector. I love it. They are my favorite. I have an obsession of an unhealthy variety, but that's okay because everyone needs advice. I have a few, but Pandora is definitely one of them. But this is not a Pandora video. This is a Gino's video. I don't know how you pronounce this. So it's G-N-O-C-E. Um, I have watched several review videos on them and everyone pronounces it different. But one of the girls that I watch pronounces it Gino's. And that is the easiest way to pronounce it that I can hear and think of. So that's what we're going with. And if that's wrong, they can tell me it's wrong. But this is the second time I've ordered from them. The first time I ordered from them was a year ago, a year and a half ago. Um, I definitely like some of their designs, which is why I ended up buying these. Um, but I prefer Pandora. If Pandora had come out with these designs, I would have gotten them from Pandora. That being said, I do like their charms. They're very nice charms. They have way more designs. They're very pretty. Just to me, the quality isn't quite as high. That being said, they're still good. And part of it is a quality thing. Part of it is a, I have a Pandora obsession and there are so many charm companies out there that if I let myself start buying charms from all of them, I'll never stop. And I'll just have 85 bajillion charms and no money. So it's better for me not to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. You can see it comes in a box. Their packaging is always really pretty. So once we open this box, we have a little card with their name on it. And then we have the actual box. This is the same way that my first order came last year. I will show you all of those terms as well. So this is gonna be an unboxing video, kind of a review video, just cause you can't, can't do an unboxing without saying your opinions on it. And just kind of an overview of the brand cause I will show you the other charms that I have from them as well, but I'm really excited. I've waited to look at this. I mean, you just saw me slice the package open. So we got four charms. They have sales quite often. Um, I almost got these for um, almost two months ago, but I missed the buy two, get two sale. And then they were having a buy two, get one sale. So I waited. <laughs> I waited until they went back to the buy to get to. So open the box and we have a little bag. In the little bag, it's all the pretty things. I do appreciate that they have a free bracelet in every order um, because that's nice. Uh, <coughs> they are snake chain bracelets. I do not have either of my other ones because um, two of my friends ended up wanting them. So I said, sure. But this one actually has a safety chain on it, silicone inside, and that is new. Um, I really like that. I appreciate that. That is nice. That is a nice touch. I will probably keep this. At the very least, I'm keeping the safety chain. So then in here, we have my four charms. Oh, I'm excited. They're so cute. This is why I end up ordering from them is because I just can't resist. Oh, how cute. They're cute designs. So I have little Boo from Mario. I have a little gold octopus, which I would have preferred be silver with a little pink bow and they do have a silver one but not with a pink bow and since this is going on my Harry Potter slash um 
movie anime bracelet, um, video game bracelet. I wanted the little octopus because my brother and I are obsessed with Animal Crossing and I thought she looked like Marino, which is one of my favorite characters. I also have the little Lily of the Valley charm, which is also an Animal Crossing reference. Yes, my island is five stars. I will leave a link below. I have not done nearly enough Animal Crossing videos on this channel, but I did one a while back. I need to do an update because I've done a lot of work. And then we have the little half moon with the black kitty that if you know, you know, looks like Sailor Moon. So I'm going to go ahead and point y'all down. We are going to look at all of four of these and then I will grab, um, I've done two past orders, but it was, it was all in the same batch. I just did two orders so that I could get buy two, get two twice. So I have eight other charms that I bought last year and I will show you all of those as well, but they did not have these last year. These have come out in the last year or two. So let's look at them. I'm really excited to put them on my bracelet. I don't even know what to call that bracelet. It's Harry Potter and Star Wars and Animal Crossing and Mario and Pokemon and just all my nerdy little movie loves in one video, a happy place. Also, I'm not 12. All right, y'all, so let's start by looking at the bracelet. It has the name on the clasp here, which is definitely, it's a little darker than a standard Pandora color. And I do really like the safety chain um, these bracelets also tend to be, let's see here, a little easier to unclip. Yeah, there we go. I can do it with my nails and they don't have thread stations. So they're very good. They're very nice beginner level bracelets. Um, or I hate to say it, but I, I do, I give these to kids. <laughs> Um, just because I prefer the quality of the other bracelets. I've never ordered one of Gino's actual bracelets. Um, the paid ones may be better quality, but these little free ones, I can't even get it closed. They're really cute and they are great beginner level bracelets, but that is, that's what I use them for. So let's go ahead and look at the charms. I will put the actual names on the screen because for copyright reasons of course they don't actually name these like boo charm from mario but obviously that's exactly what this is i love that he's a dangle oh i'm having finger problems okay it's really cute. Like the detail on him is really cute. And they actually have this little cutout on the bottom. I noticed the same cutout on the bottom of the little octopus. So maybe that's their new thing. None of my other charms had that. He does not, as far as I can tell, have any hallmarks. And while these charms are really cute, really detailed, really fun to collect, they're just not as um, heavy as my other charms. So I'm, I mean, I don't know how they'll hold up to the test of time forever and ever and ever. The ones that I've had for the last year have been fine. I wear them all the time. They don't scratch or ding or anything like that. So there you go. Here's my thought process. For the price, for the cuteness, they're a great option. Here's the little octopus. Oh, he's so cute. So I got him. Oh, he has a little hallmark. Some of them do. Some of them don't. S925. They are silver, sterling silver. I think they're just a lower weight. Um... And like I said, the octopus comes in the gold and they also had a silver version. I almost got the silver. I went back and forth like 8 million times. But at the end of the day, I just decided um, he was going to go opposite a gold charm on my bracelet. 
so I thought he'd be cuter in gold. Sorry, y'all. I have a really hard time opening things. Here's the Lily of the Valley charm. I really like this one because it is an open works charm and it has the little CZ details. So pretty. If you play Animal Crossing, you know that the Lily of the Valley you only get once you have a five star island and then they grow on cliffs and they're just really pretty and they're also kind of a a mark of a five star island, which I like. I was so excited when I got my first one. So I really had to have that charm for my Animal Crossing Island because I'm an adult. And here's my last one. I love this one. I almost didn't get it because I wasn't sure how it would look in person. But in person, this one might be my favorite of all four. He's really delicate. I wasn't sure about him because I am. Let's see if you can see. It has the brand on the bale. And I'm not a huge fan of that. I would rather have CZs or a plain bale. So I just wasn't sure, but I like it. And it's not really noticeable since it's black. So before I go, like I said, I'm going to show you my other Gino's charms. So this is my Harry Potter bracelet, but as you can see, it's also a couple other things, Star Wars and Toothless and Gengar. So here's Gengar. He is a Geno's charm. He has purple CZs for his eyes. He's really big and he has the hallmarks on the back. He's super sparkly, which I love. <laughs> Gengar is one of my brother's favorite Pokemon. I want an Eevee anybody hears that. So here's Toothless. He was my husband's, one of my husband's favorites, so I had to get him. And they now have a silver version, which is the other Night Fury, and I kind of want her too, but I haven't got her yet. And I love that this has that CZs on the bail there that I was talking about. And he's not a matte black, like he's a shiny black, which is nice. And it, there's not... Pandora doesn't really make a lot of black charms. So I liked that he was black. I like that she's black. So then um, the platform nine and three quarters is Gino's as well. With the CZs. I love how sparkly it is. And you can see there's a few dings and scratches on the back there, but not bad. This one's really metallic and shiny. So like this is going to show dings and scratches way more than like all these CZs are. Then here's my last two on this bracelet. The Stingray. <laughs> this is my brother. My mom and I went swimming with Stingrays. And so I had to have this. It doesn't really fit on this bracelet other than it's black. And like I said, I don't have anywhere else to put black charms. So there you go. And then the sorting hat. Because at the time, Pandora didn't have a sorting hat. And tempted to replace him, but I have him. He's cute. He's really pretty. I like him. The stoppers on this with the black CZs, they are also Geno's. So there you go. Last but not least, the only other two I have are these. They are the same charm twice over. These pretty rose gold hearts with all the pink and light pink CZs. And these I have because they are photo charms. So Gino's actually does, they have quite a few different options, photo charms. And you can see like that surface is shiny. The detail is there. You can really see the pictures and they haven't been scratched up. And I wear this one a lot. So hope you guys liked this review. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have ever ordered charms from Geno's or if that's not how you say it. But here are my four new ones. And if you want to see me put these on my Harry Potter, Star Wars, Toothless, um, Pokemon, Animal Crossing bracelet. I need a better name for that. Then I'm going to be doing that right now. 
I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to add these as well as all of my new Pandora Harry Potter charms that I just got. So check out that video if you want to see how it all comes together. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, share, send it to your friends. Bye, y'all.